We're just gonna wait for Lainey. Um, I think we've got Keelan and Caroline online now, um, and then we can get started as soon as she's here. Oh, I'm here. There she is. <laughs> okay. Caroline in London, Keelan in Berlin. Can you guys hear us well remotely? Hi everyone, lovely to see you all. Yes, we can hear you. Great. Now, obviously you all know why we're here. Since the foundation, or since DataGuard's been established in 2017, we actually haven't had a video that just portrays DataGuard, our mission, our value, you know, our, our DNA and all that great stuff. I think you've got a great group of people here, Jordan. I'm really looking forward to brainstorming with you all. For sure. Now, you all represent a mix of tenure trajectories, these departments here at the company. So before we get started, first of all, of course, thanks for joining. You're welcome, man. So how about we start with something like, hi, we're DataGuard. We're a SaaS company focused on privacy, information security, and compliance. We currently serve over 3,000 companies operating in more than 50 countries. And how many team members are we currently? It's 250 team members and over 40 different nationalities. Our diverse backgrounds, experiences, and personalities are surely an important part of who we are. Yeah, great point, Caroline. We want people to join the team. So how can they effectively contribute to our purpose? Well, speaking for the product team, I think that the challenge of building a scalable compliance solution for companies of all sizes and industries is really, really exciting. And the potential of what our platforms can do for our customers is absolutely huge, especially if combined with the exceptional compliance experts that we have in house. That's really nice of you, Keelan. I'll take that as a compliment. It's always a pleasure making our customers happy and providing assurance. I've been with DataGuard since the early days and uh, we started as a small bootstrap company. Now with even the Series B funding, what uh, what was it, 61 million? Yeah, 61 million in September 2022. Actually, let's have a quick look at the video and refresh our minds. Thank you for tuning in. Today is a really special day for DataGuard. You'll hear about our 3,000 customers, how we help them build trust, and why we closed a Series B fundraise. First, about our customers. Over 3,000 companies rely on our software and expertise. They're active in 50 countries around the globe, and they come in all shapes and sizes. And none of this would have been possible without a world-class team. And we're immensely grateful for the smart, driven, kind people we have on board. So to anyone who would like to scale up and be part of our mission to protect the people behind the data, join us. Yeah, right. Thanks, Jordan. Um, so even after that huge funding and with us now being so many and all over the world, the collaboration is still awesome. I think the startup spirit is not lost yet. As someone who's been here from the very start, how would you say DataGuard was able to do that, Santosh? Mm, I'd say it's a no assholes policy, <laughs> but really, I've seen some people come and go, and I've honestly loved coming to the office and working with all these people here. As someone who is, in comparison, fairly new, can you confirm that from the UK side, Caroline? Yes, indeed. As the internal UK data protection officer, I've had the pleasure of speaking to different teams and departments Everyone is such a good sport, driven and cooperative across all locations. Should we have a little tour of those offices in Berlin, Vienna, London and Munich? We're here at the new Berlin office in tech, it's a tech space in Kreuzberg in Eisberg. We are sat here in London in our new office in the Shoreditch area. So this is uh, the main area, reception area when you come in and this is our kitchen where you can see actually some of our gardettes here, Caroline and Jennifer. So this was our quick uh, tour of the London office where we're super happy to be working together. So yes, lovely, lovely area to work in. Yeah, our offices are awesome and I really love how DataGuard's always going above and beyond to get and keep the right people. I've noticed in Berlin, a lot of people here are using our relocation service. True, we've brought some awesome colleagues to our offices, for example, from Afghanistan or Romania, so basically from all over the world. And we supported them in every aspect of their relocation. And I think that is something that we should definitely mention. And folks, let's not forget about the spike week. Which company takes their whole team to the greatest places in the Europe once a year? Um, I think we actually have some highlights from last year. Should we take a quick look?
spending a week in that Italian villa really was so dreamy. But actually, it got me thinking, should we mention also our external events as well, like the quarterly female empowerment workshop? It's crucial to empower young females, um, get them the chance to work into a very start an entrepreneurial setup. Oh my God, it was amazing. I think we got them, all these young ladies. I'm amazed. If you're interested in DataGuard, learn more about it. Get in touch with the people team and otherwise we invite you for the next female empowerment workshop. Yeah, I really love that DataGuard is promoting females and, and female leaders in the legal tech space. Oh, and we should definitely also include the EPIC event because that's really crucial in promoting the importance of privacy, information security and compliance. And also we have the chance to show our great products to the world. Good Please. point there, Lenny. Our European Privacy, InfoSec and Compliance Summit is a very important thought leadership event. Yeah, absolutely. The EPIC Summit is definitely a big part of our identity. All right, very good guys. I think we brainstormed a ton of content today. So let's wrap it up and head out to the All Hands.